Yes, so my name's Madden J. Watts. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> Stop, you can't. <laughs> my name's Eden Mancor, and... Hi everyone, my name's Madden Watts. I am the Family Ministry Coordinator here for St. Phillips. And this summer, uh, I am co-working with... I'm Eden Mancor. During the year, I am the, in the same position at St. Thomas in NDG. And uh, we're gonna be working together this summer to bring to you um, the IRL Community Ministry. Yeah, <laughs> IRL. And it literally means what it's abbreviated for in text, in real life. And our mission is not just for this to be a summer program, but to be a long-lasting partnership with St. Thomas. Uh, but we're really focusing this summer just to kind of launch off, to get our thing going, to really, for you guys to get to know us. And we want to incorporate both online and in-person events with all the necessary safety precautions, of course, so that we can connect with as many people as possible. And so that we can have a safe and fun summer uh, full of just like growing together and... Growing yeah. in the garden. I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> well, we're really excited about the community garden just because it offers so much and its goal in itself is to be open to the community and for people to come and collect uh, any of the greens, the vegetables that we are growing and hopefully one day uh, berries and fruits from the trees that are growing here. So it's to make it a space where people can connect with the garden and connect with each other. And that's really important to us and we wanted to go beyond that a little bit and um, you know, just bring people here, you know, because we want people here and we want people on church property and to affiliate the church not just with churchy things, but with nature and with uh, community, especially because the church isn't made up just of the building, but of the people in the building and in the surrounding neighborhood. So we really just want people to come and enjoy themselves if it's church related or not, you know, because we're very open to that. <laughs> and part of our mission as Christians is to reach out to others. So we're really excited to be able to uh, plant seeds everywhere, no pun intended. <laughs> because we want it to be in real life during this pandemic. <laughs> yes, it is very hard to have events right now, but we need that community. We crave that community connection. Uh, so if we can provide that in this very large land one at a time you know we will we will do our best to do that you know we really want that connection and providing this giant I keep saying it's giant because you're gonna see it's giant and um, we have the resources so you, let's use them yeah agreed and further than that too we want to connect with as many people as possible and just reach out um, in real time and in real life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is not just a summer program. That's why we didn't call it a summer program or like a garden club. It's it's called IRL because we want this to be a long-lasting uh, community outreach. Uh, I uh, got affiliated with St. Phillips through Lee and Matthews and she told me to apply for the job and I did. Being like the queer trans man that I am, I didn't think that uh, churches would be very open t for me to be super open with that identity but you know St. Phillips uh, really just welcomed me with open arms uh, it's just been a really good fit because I've had such a rough background with the church I just really want to provide a safe space for kids and youth and anyone really who who needs it within the church and the fact that St. Phillips has just opened their door for me to do this for them and for our communities like it's just been a pleasure just to be able to do as much as I've been able to do right now and you know this is all a learning process it's all a growing process for all of us you know uh, just really being able to connect with people and see how they're doing and just to laugh you know to hear people's voices again and you know see their faces some sort of um, led discussion as into like so what do you guys like what do you want to talk about and be able to voice what they want and us to tag along with them yeah I think it's really important to keep praying with our communities and with our with our people you know and you know we we have to be there for one another and doing that with with prayer and with conversation and just with open minds and because if we keep um, you know closing the doors on things we're just we're just gonna get a little claustrophobic <laughs> and it's cool you know we're just here to love and 
that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> oh. Cool. Now it's your turn. It's my turn. <laughs> I got involved with children and youth and family ministry when I started working for St. Thomas Church in NDG and uh, it all started when I did an internship with Miss Leanne Matthews and <laughs> and um, it kick-started a uh, domino effect of doing things all around the diocese and uh, with the Anglican Church of Canada on a national level as well at General Synod and it all brought me to continuing a children and youth program um, at my church and leading that uh, for the children and the community there. The program that I run is called FAST, Free as the Spirit Takes Us, for children and youth during Sunday services and outside of that as well. And uh, we talk about Bible stories, we talk about uh, different aspects of different biblical topics and tie them to creative projects and uh, discussions which um, I'm really passionate about at that church and recently with um, everything shutting down and having to be stuck at home I uh, turned that ministry into an online into a digital ministry for those kids well I'm really excited to be able to um, help St. Thomas and some St. Philip's connect more and the kids and youth uh, and families um, that are both maybe longing for um, ministry and community during this time. As a long-term goal, be able to have a partnership with the two uh, family ministries is really important to both Madden and I. Yeah, I don't know if I answered your questions. We are still very, very hopeful for IRL given all of the hurdles that we have uh, experienced in the past couple of weeks, um, but we are still planning great things and we still have the same intention in mind and that is just simply to produce community. Uh, I'm really excited about the community garden and just greens to make it such a beautiful space for the whole community and I've actually been picking a lot of the kale and uh, mustard seed that you see behind me. Um, and it makes for delicious salads and delicious kale chips. So I'm excited to share that with as many people as possible. <laughs> Am I being laughed at? Because <laughs> I wouldn't take the kale because I wanted to make kale chips. She's like, kale chips? That's the disgusting. first thing I thought of. <laughs>